I have been trying to hold on to summer as long as possible. But as you can see, the rain just won't quit. So it's time to take this tarp off for the last time, throw the roof back on, and get this bad girl ready for some camping. Not easy to do alone. Woo. All right. Uh, all right. We're back in. Back on it. I actually kind of enjoy the look of it. I forgot what it looked like with the top on. I mean, I enjoy the convertible a lot more, but I'm sick of getting wet. All right. It is early. I haven't even had a coffee yet. I'm gonna go enjoy coffee. Get back to this truck. I got a bunch of things I gotta do. Both of the windows are out. I wanna put the door panels in. I have window rollers. I got door handles. I got oh, everything. All that stuff is going on in the truck. I'm putting this whole truck back together once and for all. We'll see how waterproof I have to make this thing. If I don't have to silicone it all in, it could come back off easy. But if I gotta silicone it, Forget that. All right, the top is on. Now it is time to work on the inside. Gotta get this window put back in, but first I wanna get this tint off. So, something I learned way back in the day, but I've never tried it. Something I heard was to take some alcohol. In the sun and pour alcohol on top of the tint. Now, take some plastic bags and lay it over top to seal that alcohol down on top of that, that layer of tint there. This will be the test, see if this actually works. Got the door handle in, the window roller in. The window rolls up, which it didn't before. That job is done. I came over and just tried the tint and it's definitely working better. This is without, this is with. It comes, it just comes off way better. So I'm excited about that. So if you guys are ever taking tint off of a window, alcohol, let it sit in the heat with plastic bags over it so the alcohol sits. So the alcohol dissolves all that solvent behind there. Oh yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it kind of bubbling up. All right, windows are in, door panels are in, window rollers are in, door handles are in. Oh, God, it feels good. You guys might remember a couple episodes back, I said uh, I was doing some fun things with my car and uh, I would let you know when it was all finished. Well, today is the day. Today is the day. This is why I've been stringing you along on this wild ride of my car today. I've only been really waiting to put the top on, kind of hoping that the rain would quit and I could get a couple more weeks with the top off. But the time is now and I want to show you guys what I've completed. We turned my car into a camper. <laughs> this is it. This is a camper. 
we are chilling. I mean, perfect amount of leg space. I am like absolutely perfectly comfortable. This mattress is more comfortable than my bed. I promise you. Like it's double thick, so comfortable. It's like one of those mo memory foam mattresses, and it's just layered double on top. So this is it. This is what we're doing. I gotta get myself some sort of a fan. You know, obviously I can open this up. We'll get some air going or whatever. I gotta get a double battery, second battery and all that. Ugh, but check this out, man. Now the amount of room I have is actually insane. I did not think that I was gonna have this much room here. So I have all my tools that you could need to fix this truck. I've got a camper stove. Brand new camper stove, ready to go. We got WD-40, I got a jack. I got a couple things, GoPro stuff. Look at all this room for clothes, for towels, for, I mean, that's probably, probably 12 inches of space right there, maybe 11. Plenty of room. I mean, for the most part, I packed up this truck besides the surfboard and, you know, a couple things like that. Uh, obviously, I didn't put any clothes in there, but you could see how much you could fit in there. And then, not only that, behind my seat, there's just loads of room. We've got a tarp, hammock. This is supposed to be there, but uh, now that the bed's there, it's probably going to go up there where it belongs. I mean, there's plenty of room under my seat for all types of stuff. This is all garbage. But not only that, I've got space under here. These will be locked. Both sides are both able to have some space under there. So I've got, you know, I've got battery charger. I've got power steering fluid. I mean, that there's so much room in there for stuff. We throw this up. And then on this side, I've got a tent, but the tent will probably come out and then I've got plenty more room for other stuff because I don't need a tent anymore because this is my house. How cool is that, man? Not only that, I don't know if you guys saw this yet. I built a table. So now I can put my cooker here I could cook up some dinner. I could sit here, watch the sunset, have dinner, have drinks. And I mean, this is basically Chen's Loon for now on. <laughs> I am gonna be out and about. So just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on, why I've been dragging you along today. Obviously it wasn't a long video for you guys, but it's been a long day for me and I am ready to get to camping. So. I gotta get a couple things done today before I get out of here. And uh, we're gonna be on the road ASAP. So stay tuned, keep a lookout for the next adventure because it will be a fun one, people. Check me out at patreon.com slash chenzaloon. Watch out for the Babe Watch. Got plenty of fun ideas coming. It is going to be a wild season. So stay tuned, people. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking these videos. And I will see you on the next adventure. Chenzaloon out. Peace, see you.